Camifera mura, a shrub that produces myrrh, can grow up to 30 feet in height. The trunk exudes a natural Owen resin that hardens into what is classified as reddish brown tears. Native collectors make incisions into the trees in order to increase their yield. Myrrh, which has been used for centuries as an ingredient for incense, perfumes, as well as for embalming and fumigation since ancient Egypt. Rich in symbolism, myrrh is mentioned numerous times in the Bible. It is the first oil described in the Bible in Genesis 37:25, when Joseph's jealous brothers sold him into slavery to a caravan of Ishmaelites who were incense trainers and they were on their way to Egypt carrying balm and myrrh. Years later, during the famine, Joseph's brothers came back to Egypt to buy food and they encountered Joseph as the Egyptian prince. It's interesting that their father Jacob, now called Israel, told his sons to take gifts for the prince. The scripture says they brought Joseph balm and myrrh in Genesis 43, 11, the same tools that accompany Joseph into slavery. Not only is myrrh the first oil mentioned in the Bible, it is the last one referred in Revelation 18:13. The scripture says, and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beast and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. As the last oil mentioned in the Bible, it describes the destruction of Babylon when all of these fragrances and ointments will be no more. The Greek word for myrrh is Smyrna, which shares the same root name of the city and the church mentioned in the book of Revelation. Smyrna, the second church of the seven churches of Asia that John was instructed to write to in Revelation 2, 8 through 11. Interesting, the church now distinguished as being persecuted, understood the bitterness of suffering and mistreatment for the sake of the gospel. Myrrh was one of the first gum resins and oils given as a gift to Yeshua as a young child by the Magi in Matthew 2.11. It was also the last oil offered to Yeshua at Golgotha when he was crucified. In Mark 15.23 it says, And they gave him to drink wine mingled with myrrh, but he received it not.